Welcome to episode number two of Conservation Conversations. We're talking about conservation here at the Rosemont Gifford Zoo. I'm Carrie Large. I get the honor of being the Friends Executive Director. And I'm Ted Fox, and I'm the Director of the Zoo. There's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes at the zoo, so we kind of want to talk about what the importance of some of those are, um, especially what the SSP stands for. SSP, Species Survival Plan. Conservation, pretty much if you had to pick one thing that an accredited zoo today is, is conservation. We live it, we speak it, and we try to do everything that we can to make sure what we're doing here is responsible and has some conservation impact. What is the conservation efforts that we do within our our Asian elephants? So we get this question quite frequently. Why do we have elephants? And why do we keep certain species here at the zoo? And an elephant is a really good example. Not only are they iconic and charismatic and people just love them, we want to do so much more than just take care of the elephants that are here. What impact do we have for those wild populations? And there's the key the wild populations of elephants. People frequently get disconnected. So we're in Syracuse, there's elephants here. What does that have to do with wild elephants? A lot. Because wild elephants, as you can imagine, both African and Asian, they're really difficult to get close to and to study and build research is really important for populations. But when it comes down to the diseases and to challenges for those populations, Zoos are where you can make that happen. Uninvasive sampling of of elephants from their feces to their saliva, blood work, everything. And all that information can be collated into helping everyone that has anything to do with elephants, especially the field researchers and veterinarians. We can give them all the information they need to help with things like EHV the uh, elephant herpes virus that is lethal to not only elephants in human care, but also the wild populations. This is where those really, really important things happen to help conservation, to help conserve the populations that are in the wild. That's our ultimate goal. You know, one part of our mission is creating caring people. Um, And the reason is we want people to care about the animals that we have here. We want people to care about the planet that we live on. And in turn, that will help people care for each other. It's expensive to go to Asia or Africa. And that's not very realistic for a lot of folks. But they can come to the zoo. They can get close to the animals here. They can look them in the eye. They can smell them and hear them. That hopefully builds an appreciation of them. We've been really successful. Um, We've had several calves. Um, It's so exciting to have the twins now because yet again, we've kind of broken all the rules. This is one of only four successful twin births in the entire world. And it's happening here in Syracuse, New York. And we're taking every opportunity to learn as much as we can and share all that information with all the other elephant holding facilities and around the world with what's happening, the dynamics of the herd because of the twins and everything else that goes along with this. So it's a very, very exciting time. But we also had great news that we had a red panda. Why is the red pandas on the SSP plan? Much like the Asian elephant, their population is dwindling because of overhunting. They have a beautiful red coat, which unfortunately makes them desirable for the furrier industry, so making coats out of them. Their habitat is being destroyed. They are very specific eaters. They focus mostly on eating bamboo species. A lot of that land has been taken away. So that that population is shrinking. So like many of the other species that we have here, we need to take care of them to help, help people understand why it's important. Certainly, they're another charismatic and really adorable species that people love to come to see. But there's so much more than that. Again, we we do conservation and research about behavior with pandas and diseases they might have on their diet so that as their population shrink, we can hopefully help sustain them. And certainly with SSP, as you asked earlier, SSP, Species Survival Plan, that's the highest level of management within accredited zoos and aquariums, those species There's a lot of focus and a lot of resources from all the zoos. We all collaborate to help learn more, to conserve more about these specific species that are in trouble. So if we weren't here, those animals could go extinct. That's true. So many folks believe that it's the field researchers and the bigger organizations that don't ever keep animals in human care. They're focused on just the wild populations. They're very important. It's just as important, if not more so, 
for us to do our work here. It's not just about an entertainment venue where people can go and just see cute animals. That's important for sure to make that connection, but we do so much more. 80% of what we do behind the scenes in the research that we're involved with is what's going to ultimately help save these species. Next episode, we're promising you something behind the scene, uh, but just anything that you can do in your world to make sure conservation is at your top mind um, but also just coming to visit the zoo, know that you're supporting conservation in action every single time you visit.